Hi, this is Will. I just want to quickly take you through how to replace an encrypted zip file in your Linux case. As you can see here, we've got a zip file. It's called encrypted. We can tell it's encrypted because if we look at any of the family items, it says it's encrypted. The encryption exists on the actual item itself, not on the zip file. So we can get into the zip file as such. We can kind of see and create these kind of placeholder files in here, uh, which represents as much as the files we can get but it doesn't give us much, just a little bit of detail about it, not a lot. So what we need to do if we want to get these files properly um, is decrypt the zip file and replace the zip file in NUIX. Um, we, do, we don't want to import that as new evidence, we want to do it in situ, in place, where it is. So we can, say if it's an attachment or something like that, we can use it so it gets stamped and it doesn't cause issues in our workflow uh, with these kind of exceptions in our processing. So what we want to do is get this file out as its MD5 as a file name um, and using the MD5, that will tell Nuix to replace anything with that MD5 with that file when we do the replacement process. So getting that out, we can kind of save it and rename it. Um, another thing we can do is do a legal export. If I do a legal export, say to Concordance, pick a folder to export it. Um, the trick is though, is you change your nat native file uh, naming scheme to item MD5. So everything you export out will get the MD5 applied to it. So I'm going to click OK and let that run. So once uh, once that file is exported, we can see it here in, in our export. So if I go into it and try and open a file, I can't. It's encrypted. I need a password. I know the password. How do I know the password? Maybe my client told me. Maybe I saw it in the... Uh, say if it's an attachment to an email, maybe I saw it in the email and somebody put in there by the way the password is. Um, perhaps I got it out of the word list or something like that, maybe it's somewhere else in the case. Um, otherwise maybe I've used done some kind of brute force attack or something, a rainbow table or something to decrypt it. I need to extract it and then re-include and then kind of re-zip it back up just because there's limitations on these kind of freeware zip programs uh, to do this. There's no real way to say Here's a password, remove the password in all files and just keep the zip. So I need to do this annoying process of decrypting it, selecting everything, and then re-adding it back, back into a password, uh, sorry, into a zip file that doesn't have a password. So I've done that and I've ended up with a zip file that most importantly has the same MD5 as its file name, which it just brings from the folder when you uh, zip it up in the manner I did. If you've got maybe more forensic uh, decrypting software, that will most likely remove passwords for you the way you want, but if you don't have something like that, this is the way you need to do it. So the trick with the adding of, this, of the, uh, the, this, the decrypted zip file is this. Basically what we've got here are these kind of placeholder files as I said, but they're actually in the way. When we re-add the, the uh, files, it will say, oh no, you know what, these files exist here. I'm not going to replace these, I'm not going to write over them. They, they're here, I'm not going to do anything with them, even though they're not what we want. So what we need to be able to do, or what we have to do, is select them all and delete them out of the case. So they're not seen again. Then if I go to File, Import, Import Replacement File, I need to grab, not that one, Go back into it. Paste that in. So it's going to look in the whole folder for any file that has an MD5 that matches into the case. Check your settings here. Make sure they represent what you did last time. So in we go. Match one file, 45 unmatched. My 45 unmatched are just the, the files that are already there, but it's the zip file we're interested in here. So what it'll do is it'll take that zip file, it will process it as the file, but of course it's NUIX. It starts at that point and extracts all the files out for you. Because they don't exist in the case anymore, it will, it will actually do it for you. Um, so off it goes. As you can see there, it's decrypting all the files. Well, I shouldn't say decrypting. It's extracting out of the files out of the decrypted zip file for you and putting them into the case. So what we'll see now is those files, as you can see, they look better. They've got a proper, there's actually images there for them. And we can actually start to see access to the images that we want. We can see the metadata of them properly. Um, and we can keep working on our case. It does it in the place that the original file was from that point down. So if this was attachment to another email, we, don't, we can keep everything where it is. Um, that's how you re-import a decrypted zip file. Thank you.